Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Last episode we just defeated Yono in this town called Lavincia. And before we continue, I have a realization while exploring again. So if you visit Delibird Presents, I don't know if it's uh, because I have seven badges now, but... Oh, sorry, not this one. Look at this. They sell evolution stones now. You can buy them. Well, not everything. Just the first four. Also, the apple that are needed to evolve uh, Applin. And, of course, I bought sweet apple. I didn't buy the other one just because I already got it from uh, finding the items in the wilds and also from raid rewards so i think we should start the episode by evolving all of our pokemon uh i did experiment that a bit i forgot if i've covered this or not but uh, in my vile playthrough belly ball still able to learn moves even after evolving because usually the pokemon who evolve from evolution stones stop learning moves once they evolve but it seems like, uh, at least, uh, these two, it's okay. okay. Where was it? Yeah, Sweet Apple. You know what, let's start from Sweet Apple. With our Applin. What? Apple Pie is evolving! Yeah, our apple pie! Congratulations, your apple pie evolved to apple ton! The apple nectar Pokemon, it feeds mainly on sweet apples. It will also eat small bog Pokemon that are attracted by its sweet nectar. Apple pie learn headbutt. But of course, uh, our apple pie is still severely <laughs> underleveled. Uh, we're just fine. We're gonna just bring it in the party. And next, let's do Thunderstone because we already know what Belly Bolt looks like. Got a toast. It's evolving. <laughs> oh, look at it! Look at its eyes and fake eyes. Your Avocado toast evolved into Belly Bolt. The LF Rock Pokemon, when this Pokemon expands and contracts its wobbly body, the belly button dynamo in its stomach produces a huge amount of electricity. Hell yeah. Doesn't learn any new move. Now, finally, this one I haven't seen what it looks like. Uh, so, yes, apparently not Thunstone, not Leaf Stone, but Fire Stone. So I think it's gonna be a fire type now. Let's see. I see floss bread is evolving. <laughs> oh my god, look at the your spicy floss evolved to Scoville. Grass and fire type, spicy pepper Pokemon. The red hat converts spicy chemicals into fire energy and blasts the surrounding area with a super spicy stream of flame. Is it gonna evolve again? I think not. Spicy Extract. Okay, what is that? The user emits an incredibly spicy extract, sharply bo boosting the target's attack stat and harshly lowering the, the target's defense stat. Oh, okay. That's. Kind of risky though. Do I want this? Hmm. It sounds like. You know what? I'm just gonna take it first. It sounds like it's better to use it on double battle. Flamethrower. Now that's a spicy move. Scorch with intense blast of fire. Also leave the target with a burn. Whoa, you're a physical attacker now. More than a special attack, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna use this 
spicy extract seems like it's better to do it to your ally. So you still have chlorophyll. Oh, you have fire fang. That might be better. Better than flamethrower. You are still a special attacker. Black Alto, you search Black Alto for storing his own HP. Not bad. Alright. What about you? Stomp? You have Stomp? Curse, Growth, Recycle, Resent. Let's use Stomp. So it's funny that it's called Scovillain. Because uh, Nimble's evolution is like a common rider, so it's like a superhero versus villain kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so our plan today is we're still gonna be on the west side. We're gonna go here, the uh, Path of Legend, Lurking Steel Titan. Miners working in area three of the East Province say something huge. Growing under the ground is the cause of the frequent landslide. Whispers about whether it could be a titan like thing. From my uh, Violet playthrough, uh, the titan is still easier than any of the remaining path. So that's what we're gonna do. I already uh, trained our bubblegum and red velvet to level 30. So all that's left is training our monkey bread to level 30. And the rest is, I feel like Zupa Stool is close to evolution. But we'll see. There might be a new Pokemon here. Oh, also, the reward from defeating the Titans are really good. It will help us explore more, which is why I think we should do that better. And it is also much, much easier than this guy here, the Quaking Earth Titan. So we're definitely not gonna do here. So from the Titan, we're gonna go here, and actually might be go here. Because this gem is also uh, pretty strong, stronger than the base. And what is this one? I think this one is really strong. An extremely dangerous opponent, so yeah, I think we're gonna do this last. If we remember from the animation, we actually uh, don't going to do, do the poison after uh, fire. Oh, it's said to be the second strongest, so yes. So it's gonna be poison, fairy, and then fighting. So we're probably gonna go from uh, the titan to the water gym and to the poison base then maybe this maybe this and then we go here maybe have we read yeah two red no we go here so we're in area three oh oh i think this is the the other pokemon that evolved by walking with it Ramblin. Mm, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. Bramlin, the tumbleweed Pokemon, is a grass goose type. A soul, unable to move on to the afterlife, was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and become a Pokemon. 
Uh, look pretty interesting looking. I would use it if we don't have a lot of grass type already. Also share the type with the anchor Pokemon. Yeah. Oh ho ho, you bought it. My fake out that is. Now it's battle five. Ernesto. Oink clone, perfect. Twenty-three. Let's use low kick. Oh, you're gonna have both male and female. Yep. Excuse me. Ah, oh, see? They can steal their moves. Zen Headbutt. That's probably better, honestly. Yes, better than Headbutt. May also make the target flinch. Leech C. Are you more of a physical attacker or special attacker? That little joke really caused me. Oh? Oh, our monkey bread is evolving! Just in time. Just in time, monkey bread. Yes! Congratulations, your monkey bread evolved into a primate. Primate the pig monkey Pokemon. It becomes wildly furious if it even senses someone looking at it. It chases anyone that meets its glare. Yes, and we know that uh, in this generation, Primate actually had uh, another evolution. Let's hope it's going to be a cool one. You have Fling. No, I don't think you need Fling. Oh, your nature is bad though, Primate. Should I give you Mint? Oops, sorry. Um, well, I think you might be ready then. Here. What should we bring? Since it's gonna be like a desert area, right? It's probably better to bring Margarine. Ooh, Diglett. I don't wait, have I caught Diglett before? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, already. Probably from the raid battle. Meow for sure, right? Meow for sure. Ooh, Volt Four. I don't think I caught Volt Four before. Are you gonna explode? Oh Jesus. Ooh, a coffin. So we have to be quick. And you might help the strap, so you should just use quick ball. Yep. Easy.
Voltorb Sparks. How do you get that? The ball Pokemon. It rolls to move. Its ground is uneven. A sudden jolt from hitting a bomb can cause it to explode. Oh. Timer ball. Great. Okay, in case you have Rolly Poly, I'll have these. Ooh, does that mean uh, Toad School will evolve at level 30 as well? Area 3 of the pro East Province is a mining belt. We dig, dig, dig for metals. Worker. Ooh, Stone Joiner. Oh, you're a weird one, right? What are you, Rock Psychic or just Rock? Gravity. Are you ground? Rock ground? What are you doing outside of Galar, Stone Joiner? I see you're no stranger to hard work. Ooh, a duck trio. Definitely have not caught duck trio. Oops. What a gun. Ooh. Ooh. Do we have flying type? Ooh, no, we don't have flying type. We should resist the ground move. Accuracy fell. A bit, a bit, a bit. I think this is an ultra ball kind of situation. Oh god. If I Mega Drain, you are for sure gonna be dead. There's a chance you're gonna be dead. Let me try Great Ball. Something is worse. See? Sometimes Great Ball does the job when Ultra Ball can. Ooh, Marjorie learns the new move. Seed Bomb? Isn't that physical though? Yeah, it's physical. You more special attacker. But it's better than Razor Lee, so maybe, yeah. The Mole Pokemon. Its three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for it to burrow. So the Diglett line is a mole, while the Wiglet line is an eel. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Speaking of Marjorie, what's with the tackle? Don't you know any other move? Maybe growth is even better than tackle. Yeah, forget tackle. Okay, the Kafan, it's probably better if faced with Zupa Stool. It. 
And yeah, let's use Great Ball. Why not? Yes. Coupon. Coupon? Coupon? The copper durum Pokemon, using the pointy tip of its trunk, it carves off chunks of hard rock to eat. It is very docile and helps people with physical labor. Like how real elephants would. Okay, I think that's all of the Pokemon that we haven't caught. Energy powder. Oh, that's just a meow. Okay, so it's uh, not a desert, more like a mountainous area. Oh, that's Roly Coley and the evolution. Can I get both? They have steam engine, probably, right? Okay, good, good, good. You can probably make do with Pokeball. Yep. Roly Coley. Not Roly Poly. The cold Pokemon. On sunny days, Roly Coley will come up onto grassy plains and roll around. Where then it will eat the grass, then get tangled in its wheel-like leg. Pretty weird that its leg is a wheel. Like, does the human invent wheel because of them, or do they follow the people who use this wheel? We'll never know. Oh my god, how are you even weaker than Roly Coley? Oh god. Back. Uh, seems like it's a very large area. We should just go to where the titans are. Oh, there's another carcoal. Maybe if it's not caught off guard, it will survive it. Yes. And I'll use Great Ball. Ooh, yeah, apple pie. Protect. Mm. Uh, we're not in a competitive play, so we probably don't need to. Dark Cold, the cold Pokemon. The temperature inside its body increases when it experiences strong emotion. It rolls around frantically while spewing flames. Maybe Roly Coley is only rock? I kinda don't remember. Oh my god, Super Stool is evolving! Let's go! <laughs> oh, you look exactly like Tentacruel. Toad Scroll. A wood ear Pokemon. All oh, like a wood ear mushroom kind. Of. These Pokemon gather into groups and form colonies deep within forests. They absolutely hate it when strangers approach. Very cool looking. Good 
field ground grass. Steal my silly might. But let's see if you have Screech. Still the same, I think. Reflect type. Hmm. You're more of a special attacker for sure, so I don't know if it's Screech gonna be useful. Oh god. Oh yeah, Rolly Holy is only rock, that's why. Oh god. Ugh, that trio. Should we bring? Coco Bun, probably. Oh, what? Why are you here? <laughs> more Voltorb, more Coffin. Is it white? No, let's use... There's so much sand around here, my mouth's getting all gritty. Silly Cobra, I think I've caught it before during the raid. Some two are perfect. Let's not use any day. Masquerade. Oh, water type. Uh, let's switch. Belly ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this belly ball? Hokkaido Toast. <laughs> Looks so cute. Ooh, Intimidate, how dare you! Thunder Shock. Great, you're gonna activate my Electromorphosis. Oh, you still survive it. Well done. Actually, well done. And it's great that Avocados is lower. We can activate its ability. Dawn fan. Okay, switch. Margarine. Ooh, we're cutting it close. Oh my god. Could have used Mega Drain. Ooh. Hopefully, it won't use slime again. Oh, it's just using slime. Okay, but this one's not critical. Mega Drain. No! It keeps getting critical. Let's 
try this first. Okay, I'm back there. Oh, interesting. The green pepper used flamethrower, but the red pepper used seed ball. Very cute. Water pulse, oh hell yes. That's much more stronger than water gun. Even though technically you're more attacker. The battle's over. Yep, but it caught the cobra. Even sand storms won't give you any trouble if you got safety goggles in hand. The sand will still get in your mouth though. Are we still far away from it? Oh, kinda. Let's not waste time. Go, go, go. Okay. Yo, curry bread. So somewhere in one of the mines that are around here, we should find the lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that the thing's stra staggeringly huge and real long. You would think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, writing that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Are we gonna play tag? Is that what you're saying? Brick Break. Oh, Brick Break is pretty good. Fighting move. Might want to teach it to either Bubblegum or Monkey Bread. Oh, is this it? Is this the layer? Here, can we go through one of the tunnels? Oh, actually, I don't know where. Come from. Gosh, it was amazing. What is kit? What is amazing? Wanna know what it was? What? The poor thing, I'm gonna burn her snowbird to ash. Pokemon right here. And what Pokemon would that be? A huge Pokemon like one of those big towers in Adventure came right off the ground. It looked just like the giant Diglett statue they have in some other region. Giant Diglett statue? I don't know what you mean, girl. Ooh, Firestone. There you go. You can find Firestone in this mountainous path. Oh, it's actually right through here. All right. Game time, boys. So they don't actually give EXP. But let's see if I still have space for you. Oh, I don't have space for you, sorry. I kind of have to bring monkey bread. Could I use monkey bread? Or I think monkey bread is better. 
but we'll save for good luck. It's me, Duck Trio, coming through. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're an underground train? You're a subway train. <laughs> but also an earthworm. <laughs> you have little hands. Oh my god. Earthworm. Okay, let's see how heavy you are. Ah, very heavy. gonna be easy one let me heal let me heal okay I think monkey breath gonna be fine but this is how onyx do it huh oh we're playing hide and seek. Oh, this is where you're gonna get the Herba Mystica. It's quiet. Curry Brad, you managed to pin down the Titan. That the lurking steel titan is a uh, well, sure is strong. I think our little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Curry Brad. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, Victor is gonna taste so good seasoned by my Toad School. Toad School? It's Toad Scroll season, bro. Grass Knot? It's a Steel type, dude. Easy. This might be the easiest Titan yet. The easiest Titan so far, I think. I don't know if it's because we're over level. Yay, Prime, good job! We did it, Curry Brad. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face though? I didn't expect a Titan to be such a little cutie. But that Earthworm reminds me of Gummy Worm. We might have to get it. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica at April 4. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. I'm sure there's some here too. Aha! I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica. Salty Herba Mystica. I don't think Salty is in the very taste before another successful search we're on a roll now then let's see what does the book have to say well apparently salty herba mystica helps with aching hands and feet good for neuropathy and numbness when you've got a muscle weakness it supposedly builds up strength again this will definitely help my both day feel even better come on curry brad let's get some food going 
you're Aya. Watch out. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite all Arvid Thunder. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Oliver Salt Bay action. this might happen, don't worry, I made extra this time for that brute of yours. Sniff sniff. You want to give your sandwich to Coridon? I'll share. Yeah. Come on out, my boss Steve. Got some for you too, bud. Are you just gonna leave your Pokeball over there? They're so cute, they're so precious. That's it, small bites, small bites. I mean, right away, it's just hop! Chomp, chomp, chomp. Right on, we'll be able to jump higher now. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? Yeah. This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, before I forget, Curry Brad, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. So does that mean a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food. Oh, you done with your sandwich, Mabosti? Are you gonna be able to stand now? Rough. Rough. You heard that, right, Curry Brad? Mabosti's just wolf, right? Yes. Right? I'm not imagining things. See, see that? I knew it wa I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, my boastive. Who's my best boy, huh? Who's the best boy? You are, yes, you are. It's been so long since I heard that wolf. When unfortunately the next titan's so strong. My boastive's definitely getting better. Ever since I team up with you, good things keep happening. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Like, yeah. Rough. Oh, the next Titan's so strong though. Oh yeah, I changed my case to Apple, Applin case. This is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained more of its original power. While you're riding upon it, it seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. <laughs> if you press and hold the B button, Coridon will now be able to jump higher than before. If you give the B button a quick press, it will perform any smaller than instead. Please continue to take good care of Coridon. Is there a... Hmm... I kinda wish there is a checkpoint here somewhere. Heat rock. Ooh. Sunlight will persist longer than usual. We still have a little bit of time. Oh. Oh, look at this gummy worm. Ooh, 23 though. Let's try using quick ball. Dang it! Thank you. 
bit, just a little bit. Hang in there, monkey bread. Okay, good, good, good. This time, let's try use Pokeball. Ugh, fine, great ball it is. Are you still ground? Still rock? Just pure steel. The earthworm Pokemon, when attacked, this Pokemon will wield the tendrils on its body like fists and pelts the opponents with storm of punches. Uh, I'm gonna check if it has. Oh, it doesn't evolve. Um, I don't know. I guess the Titans don't evolve. Earth Eater. Hit by a ground type move, the Pokemon has HP restored instead of taking. Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Maybe I, I will use you after all. And I'm gonna name you Gummy Worm. <laughs> Defense, no, oh, good, good nature as well. Okay, I don't know where I could get a checkpoint, so with the remaining time, I think it's time we go back to Naranja and do some of the class. I think the class is updated every time I defeated a gym leader. But I could be wrong. I don't know. So I don't know. So I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to the, this gym first. I think that might be the wise choice. But anyway, that's a problem for another day. Let's do the classes first. Oh, how is my Pokedex going? Did I get my next prize when it's 200? I'm close. It's so hard to figure out the time matchup for Pokemon with two types. Real type moves are super effective against very type Pokemon. Did I get that right? You did get it right. Oh my god. Okay, so it seems like we only have five classes. That's a lot of class. Hello, hello. I hope everyone's ready to learn some new things today. I seem to remember teaching you all about the importance of eggs in our last class together. Ah, uh, on that note, is everyone using their Pokedex? Registers Pokemon born from eggs as well as those encountered via other methods, so don't you worry about that. And uh, just so you know, I'm the one who developed the Pokedex app. It was way before I started teaching here at the academy though, back then I was a researcher. In fact, Director Clavel wasn't working in education at the time either. He was researching alongside me at the same facility. We got to research Pokemon together day in, day out. Those sure were fun times. I got yelled at all the time though. <laughs> Wait a second, how did I get into this? Pretty sure I was talking about the Pokedex. Uh, anyway, today I would like to teach you about catching Pokemon. As you all know, a great way to catch a Pokemon more easily is to first lower its HP. But there's another way to up your chances of a successful catch. Can you guess what it is? 
and click the status condition. Well, that's right, Koi Bread. Great job. The correct technique for making Pokemon easier to catch is to inflict them with a status condition. Leap is an especially effective status condition. It makes Pokemon drastically easier to catch. If you have Pokemon that can use moves that put opponents to sleep, like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, filling up your Pokedex will be a, uh, a cinch. A cinch? A cinch? There are other ways to improve your catch rate as well, like using Pokeballs, specifically designed to be effective against certain Pokemon. It includes that gives you catching power work, too, or sneaking up on Pokemon from behind to catch them by surprise when you start a battle. If you're having trouble, you may want to make the rounds or the gyms to get gym badges. Learning gym badges will make it easier to catch Pokemon of higher and higher level. Please do come show me your Pokedexes once they start to fill up. Another day, another enjoyable class. Oh yeah, don't forget, our next class will be a test. Whoa, what? What? Biology midterm? Let's do it. Class will begin soon. Oh, is it midterm? Because no, it's only been. Oh, maybe it is. It's eight badges now, right? Hello, hello, everyone. Today's your our midterm exam. It sure feels good to fill all those empty spaces on the entry sheet, doesn't it? Take your time and contemplate each question carefully. What button would you use to let a Pokemon out of its ball so that it can walk with you? Wait. Oh, not the plus button. Wait, is it R or Z R? Wait. I think R. Uh, combine one letter and one number below to correctly say when and where eggs are found uh, during picnics A2. Which of the following is an effective way to warm up eggs? Uh, walking around. What will not make Pokemon easier to catch? Uh, or giving them a berry. What will make it easier to catch Pokemon of higher and higher levels? Gym badges. This question won't affect your grade. How do you like the Pokedex? Is it easy to use? I'd be happy to use here on a sufficient. It's easy to use. How did I do? It feels great to get a task out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your result. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterm exam and four questions correct to pass the final exam. Oh, it's that R, isn't it? It's that R. Can I retake the test? There's so many classes. Oh no. But I don't think it's it matters, right? Ah we wait, I just remember as well. I forgot to take my price. Where were we? Stomping Tantrum. Driven by frustration, the user attacks the target. This move power is double the user's previous move fails. That's 
Mm, okay, it's very situational. Four minutes, we might be able to take one more class. Hello everyone, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy Fortune? In a math class, miss? For shame. I think it was great to read your horoscope and see that what says good luck in coming your way. So today I'd like to teach you all math while focusing on the topic of luck. Perhaps you have seen the following example phrase crop up during Pokemon battles before. A critical hit. When a Pokemon's attack lands as a critical hit, the damage it deals is increased by half. In other words, it does one and a half times as much damage as it normally would. If it truly, it is truly luck that it determines whether your Pokemon lands a critical hit or has one landed on it, this can cause a great upset in battle. Does anyone know what percent chance a Pokemon has a landing hit? Oh, what? Whoa, I did not know this. One percent seems to be very low. Mm, 12 in two hit. Okay, let's take the test. <laughs> okay, let's take the test. How much damage does Water Gun do when it hits a fire type? Double damage. How much damage does Razor Leaf do when it hits a fire type? Half damage. Yeah, half damage. If you spend 2000 on as many 200 Pokeballs as possible, 11. What percent chance does a Pokemon usually have to land a critical hit? About 4%. How much damage does a move deal when it lands a critical hit? One and a half times as much. Oh, that's easy. It feels great to get a test out of the way, doesn't it? Let's take a look at your results. You must get. Three questions correct to pass the midterm exam. Okay, it seems like there's only a passing score, no perfect score. Yep. Okay, I feel less bad now. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Can we do history? 
Why not? Greetings, my little students. Whatever you did yesterday, it is now part of history. Today, we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. As you should remember from our last class, Area Zero's great era of exploration began about 3,000 years ago. This era lasted for approximately 1,000 years, but not a single soul was able to venture all the way to the deepest reaches of Area Zero. Having poured much of its human and financial resources into the exploration of Area Zero for so long, the Paldian Empire fell into decline. 200 years later, or 800 years ago, the empire and its surrounding nations united into one entity. This was the formation of Palia as we know it today. Ah yes, this very academy where you are now filling your young minds with knowledge was also apparently established at the time. In fact, this school building, though certainly having underground repairs through the years, is just as it was when it was built so long ago. This very structure is a piece of history. Ah, things of old are truly splendid. I would certainly prefer it not to have the Pokeball portion though, a relatively new edition. Ah, perfect timing to make eye contact, Ian Karibra. Let's see if you've been listening to my lecture. Tell me, approximately how many years ago was this Academy of Arts of Sowers? 800 years ago. Correct. I see the look of concentration on your face was indeed just that. I hate nothing more than when a student only pretends to listen. This academy was constructed exactly 805 years ago to be precise. In other words, your academy here is 805 years old. At the time, it offered state-of-the-art facilities and a uniquely innovative curriculum. As such, people used to say, those seeking knowledge need look no further than the oranges of Haldea. That's right, they were referring to Naranja Academy. It is said that this proverb of sorts was even used outside of the Paldea region. I feel like this is going to be hard. Greetings, my little students, it is time for our midterm examination. Summon your historical knowledge from the dark recesses of your mind and answer the question. What is the name of the geological formation in the center of Palea region? The great crater of Palea. What was long believed to rest in the depth of Area Zero? Treasure. Wait, oh, what the mysterious Pokemon? No, I think it's treasure. A thousand years ago. 805 years ago. Knowledge. Your time is up. Put your writing utensils down. Oh, at least I, I'm pretty sure I got three questions right. Even the least capable of you surely added your score. Added your score there. I sincerely hope you did anyway. Feels great to get a test out of the way. Okay, I don't know which one I got wrong, but I passed. It could be what reside inside the crater. Now that I think about it, maybe it's a mysterious Pokemon. Okay. I think that is it for this episode. If we're gonna do all the tests, it will be super long. So when we come back, we're gonna do the rest of the our midterm exam and continue on our adventure in Paldia. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, bye.